Hans here, and welcome to another episode of our Honorable Horatio. Oh, wrong game, He Show. Oh, Horatio is the last game we played. Welcome to our wonderful game of the He Show. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget to yell just great. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support you have shown both on this game and this channel. I love you guys. You have been amazing and fantastic. And I'm proud to say, since a month ago, today, almost every single video outside of two has hit at least 10 views. So many comments, so many subscribers. We have passed 100. I cannot believe it. When I first started playing YouTube, actually, well, recording and playing up in March, a lot of emotionally draining things have happened in my life and because of YouTube and because of you guys a lot of things have gotten better mentality looking up projects of just life itself and I love you guys and thank you so much and quite a few of you think from me through Twitter has just blown everything out of the mind so today we are going to try and get some amazing fantastic heroes and name them after both our best and greatest supporters and I think feel and trash actually as friends I also think of them as friends so let's get to it all right so we have the behemoth coming to Kalem very soon we're colonizing Warden. I want to try and get bought that soon we have some over at Lors the Volta's got Elma well whatever we're trying to get them the Kaltikma Kaltikma why does it sound familiar? I don't know. But we are improving relations. Or not. No, let's we need to improve in relations. Come on. We have some laws we can get up. And that wouldn't cost us much. Oh, it does lower our I mean, that's amazing science and dust, but we do lose dust. We're already losing dust to begin with. Because of an event. So let's not do that. And that is, yeah, minus two. I don't know if that's two per turn. I have a feeling that's two per turn. We don't have anything that's actually producing per turn. Key. So let's not do that. We are trying to get the Intergalactic Technology Center up very, very quick. To do that and help us out, I'm thinking it's putting up calling this special. That be <laughs> that. That's hurting. That is hurting us a lot. But um, getting the Fealty Foundation up on the planet. Because it does give us plus one fits on everything. And that would be very useful. Except, of course, influence. Now, if we had influence, that would be itself grand. But that does cost key. But we are at max. So that takes us down to 75. Which hurts us. But. That will, in two turns, get us up there. And that will give seven of each extra production. Which doesn't seem a lot at the moment, but that is heavily, heavily helpful. I'll have to do that both. I'd love to have at least one plan in each system having that specialty up and going. And for Silo Cat, I'll this is our dust system at the moment. Because of that, I'd love to get Xeno Tourism up. Now, we don't have any luxury resources in the system, which is sad. I mean, we have a signal, we have a life form, and we have a life form. So, we might have some type of luxury resource in the system. So, I kind of want to get Xeno Tourism up after I get magnetic fields, and then get the Intergalactic Supermarket up. So this is a great dust system. Now, that does mean system improvements. Which we don't have anything up yet. Now, we're getting making some blue cap molds just to return. We could use super spuds. We're not making enough dust to buy anything out. So, we're not going to do that. 
What would be really nice is if we could get something for Key. This family of resource improves Key when used in system development. So, yeah. We're not producing any of the Bethnek gems, but that does give you a lot of stuff. So I would love to use that. Now, influence is always nice. But for right now, we're doing the Hyperium research for improve our weapons. Get that up. Behemoth is okay. Now, the trade companies, that will be very, very helpful very soon. The first objective failed. Ah. Now that we got um, adamantium in the star system, I kind of want to get this up so we can start exploiting it and start putting it into our resources. Air labor is a lot of production. We do have a lot of hot and sterile planets. But I do want to get uh, exploration up. So we'll do this. That is, uh, it does allow us to colonize desert too, so that will be very useful. Yeah, that's nice too. Ugh. So a lot of things that would be helpful. I think we'll go this route for now. And then we found, of course, the unfallen. You can't do anything because you're still traveling. Oh, wait. No, you can. Let's pop some anomalies on lures. All right. So we... Oh, they have a Terran system here. You know what? Let's actually pop that. And they found Eden. Nice. And we found... Transvine. Oh, my. Plus, wow. Transvine, plus 20 fits on Devoted and plus 15 on Loyal. Oh, my. Um, huh. Huh. Yeah? We might want to go for Lores. I mean, great foothold. Hmm. Things you think of. And we have food going here. Destroy the Behemoth chapter quest. Found Transvine. One ship can still move. Ah. Now we'll keep you on the defensive for now. Wait, is that a sword? Yo, beautiful sword. Ha, feathers of a sword. Ah, sweet. Hero shims. Oh, Jago Evolve has no construction available. Hmm. Zero Treasure won't give us anything, but, well, I mean, it does give us some dust. So that's actually not too hurtful. So we'll bring that up. And we're getting food, which is not bad. We'll have to get these guys off this planet. But they're also pacifists, so we might not want to. Oh, we...
Well, that's a lot of food, but that's... We don't have a bread basket yet. When I say that we have a... Dwarven is a bread basket. So, uh, the farming system might actually be very useful. And Denrick University, yaw, 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 yaw. That would be grand to have. Let's see. We get food, and we're sending food. So you know what? Sure, let's get this up. An interplane transport network, which will give us a lot of production. Cerebral reality for dust and science. So we start paying for th some things. She could rush, but we're losing dust at the mo- Ah! You know what? That actually paid for itself at the moment, so let's do that. Once it's complete, I guess 15, so it'll be up and actually positive. Well, we do have luxury resources. Okay. Five. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that is good. Place political survey. That's fine. You have nothing. Fids production. That's gonna help. Uh, sphere of influence is a little bit smaller than I would like. You're there. Lasers and movement. Let's see. Ah, you can move up. So we want to try and see how far the Unfallen are. I mean, this is a very popula populated system for them. At seven each. Seven pops. Ah, we're, of course, attacking the pirates. One ship, slowly producing goodies. And I can't any key at the moment. That's fine. In less than 13 turns, possess two ships of at least 241 attack power. We will have that. Have five planets with only he show. Yeah, we can do that. I would basically be in not silo. I mean, technically we could do that. We could have three right now. I see that'd be four. Nope, we can't do it there. Yep, we can't do it here either. So, e. But, oh, that'd be good to get the desert, though, because we can get these two planets up and flowing. Wow, this doesn't give us so much food. Ooh, something's going on. Ah, trial by fire. The artillery officer's trial spirals out of control. So we increase the military. Uh, plus 30% damage on fleets on empires. So I think that means we do 30% more damage. Possibly. Minus 7 influence. So we'll be losing influence. But we do have a lot. It's only 10 turns. So that's basically minus 70 influence. Uh, ish. No. No, that's... Ooh. Eh, that's not too bad. But we do get... Possibly a... Create a major political crisis. Or... We don't do anything. Shut down protests. Or we can pardon the officer. 
You know, last time we did shut down the protests. I kind of want to want to see what will happen if we pardon the officer. We're gonna have a big space battle soon. I kind of really want to see what this does, so let's do it. End. Has, part one has come to an end. And lunchtime. Nice. Population gained. So we got Philly Foundation going into galactic technology. Up 19 turns now. That's good. Dwarven got two up. And now doing intensive cultivation. Sallow Cat, now luxury prices are decreasing. That's a lot. Now, yeah, we're making a lot of dust now, which is nice, nice, nice. Elo. Oh, we don't want an Elo here. Because it's hot, and they're only good on hot. What's next? Okay. That's fine. Ah, there's the bloody pirates. And we have one fighter. Yeah. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. But we can't soak some and we pump out a lot of damage so eesh. now we cannot assist them but we might be able to do that pretty soon yeah we don't want to fight them colonizable See so what this ruins gives us. Oh, improved high plating. Oh. That's nice. Too bad we don't get any titanium at the moment. I mean, we will with Kalem. Soon enough. See, I love to, you know, two turns, and then we can start creating a better ship, and then go take out these pirates. Now, thirty-six key, uh, that take us below fifty. Uh, I don't want to. See, the thing is, that the pirates attack us, we're going to lose, and then we'll lose this colony. That's a given. We spend all of our key now to get it up and going. That does mean we go below 50%, because we have to use 36. That actually puts us at, uh, 30, let's see, 6... Yeah, that puts us around 30, which is really not so good. Uh, we might have to give Woden up against the pirates. Ugh, I don't want to see that. Dwarven silo cut four turns. Yeah, a lot of Calgaros, which is great. Because I like them, because they give uh, combat. Now, <laughs> we have no fertile systems here, so they're kind of useless. At least in their specialty, but 
That's not too bad. Yeah, we got a lot of signs coming out of here. What's down here? Ooh, a pirate system. Ooh, we're being attacked. Two knives. Okay, interesting. Well, we're going to retreat. Oh, we'll lose some key. No, we can't retreat. Okay, uh, fight then. We're gonna lose the ship. But I can't lose key right now. I cannot. So we're just gonna have to make a big mil. When we do upgrade, upgrade our military fleets. The unfallen seethe and struggle to contain. Let's see what happens when we click Halt Attacks. So we can prepare, we can mobilize. Sure. So we're at peace. We're at Cold War with them. But Donnie, so we found them. We are too polite to say what we are thinking. So we can so introduce ourselves. We will stop at hello. We are too polite to say what we are thinking. You have another matter to discuss. Welcome, welcome. How can the families help? Ooh, we can get a trade agreement with them. Now, it does cost us a lot of influence, but... I also have an empire to run. And sure. to take out. I mean, <laughs> sign. So... Ooh, that's a lot of dust. See how much Hyperium they'll give us. Wow, a lot. Hmm. Nice. Let's go if they give us 50. Ooh, ah. what about Titanium? So still go some titanium. Yeah. Five fifty of each. They will. Let's make an offer. Not just a deal, a bargain. So we get a trade agreement, and we get Hyperium and titanium. I well, we have no trades going on at the moment. But we did get quite a bit of titanium, which we don't have. Which is great, because it lets us upgrade our ships! At least let's just upgrade the Kestrel. Sorry. 
And then we give us some six movement. That'll be helpful. Let's end our turn. Vagrant Bright Blade. Entrenched. Nice. So the pirates haven't attacked us yet. Near Woden. Ooh, smoking gun. With the approach of election, you've begun to take note of growing support for minority parties. Alright. So you can just Arrest the spies or reduce a cheat cost during elections. Well, we don't use cheat costs, so we can arrest the spies. You're the caviar of the galaxy. Hey, yeah, they're not attacking us. Good. So close. So one more turn until we can get a probe. Oh. So they're going for Bata, huh? Well, oh, no, they actually already colonized it. All right, the vault is a special way to colonize systems. Uh huh. Interesting. I don't want to get Woden. That's it for sure. Kale is at 17 now. Oh, that's not bad at all. And it's going to go down quite a bit. Three turns at Silo. You're not attacking the pirates at all, and they're not attacking us. Well, there's three ships of an unknown empire. Even though they look like pirates, the bloody pirates, they're an unknown empire, so they might not actually attack us. Ooh! And it costs 93 influence, but one production, oh my god. 8% bonus on ground and space battles per home system. Holy cannoli. That would be great. We just need a lot more influence. We do know a lot now that we want. Okay, so we got the... Yes, the beam weapons. So let's upgrade our hawk. That's 25. It's 21. Let's see, how much do we need for the quest? 241. Two fifty two. That's not bad at all. Now we're at two ninety two. Like, oh, my God. Huh. 
289. Okay. So, three, t three turns I'll have that. And that means this quest will be done. And we get Hyperion. So, ten turns, three turns. Oh, right, Kestel. You're using projectiles. That's fine. You know what, let's get another uh, Kestrel up as well. The Owl, the Harrier. We'll do that to get these two up upgraded versions. Oh, hello. The Riftborn are here too. Well then. So this means it's the Riftborn. So let's see the Riftborn on the Aquarius. Oh wow, it's 32 minutes. Okay, we'll end this here for today. Um, we found the Riftborn now. Until next time, folks. Hope everyone's enjoying. Don't forget to hit that like. Also, leave comments to get things named after you. Until then, later alligators.